This is why I teach you to tie a cleat hitch in this way. Hey guys, Captain Harley here with How To Boating. I'm gonna show you why I found this is the best way to tie your cleat. I'm gonna break it down step by step. So I'll undo the cleat here. We're gonna go step by step. So of course, the boat line comes from over here. So we're gonna go around the far horn. Now, if we went around this horn, what if, okay, what if the boat shifted a little bit forward, forward, it started shifting forward a lot, and the tide rises. So what happens there? You start to lose that lock. So that's why we always wanna make sure it goes around the far horn to start off with. The next thing we do is we only do a half a wrap around the base. Now some people teach a full wrap around the base, and I'll tell you the problem with that is in extreme circumstances, when you tie your boat at low tide and this boat starts to get higher with high tide, what this line is going to do is pinch the other line. So when you start to untie it, you won't be able to get this out here. Of course, right now it pops out, but you won't be able to get this with that extreme uh, tidal change. So that's why we start off with a half wrap, okay? We do one wrap two wraps, and then a lock. So there's people that teach one wrap. And I'll show you the problem with that, is when you have one wrap and then a lock, so this line right here that's locked in, it's only locked in with friction by this line here and this line by rubbing against it. And then when you have a slick cleat like this and a slick line like this, if you have a lot of tension on this line pulling that way, it's gonna to start to undo because your cleat is so, so slick and your line is so slick. So when I go one, two crosses and then a loop, a lock, then this line is touching this line, it's touching the line under it, and it's touching this line here. So that friction, it's all being pinched in and held in place right there.